Hello, my friends. My name is Debbie Reed. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Kingston, Idaho. And today I'm going to show you a card I made using the Lighting the Way stamp set. And the items that you're going to need to die cut making this, you're going to need two lanterns, one out of the copper foil, one out of the evening evergreen. You're going to need two of the bee bodies, one in yellow, one in black, and then another body you're going to die cut. The only thing you're die cutting that you are lining up is the bumblebee and this green uh, grass leaf, not grass leaf. And then you're going to die cut uh, the little vellum wing. The items that you're going to be needing, you're going to need a card base of soft, soft succulent, a vanilla envelope, evening evergreen paper, very vanilla paper, another piece of vellum, and then you're going to need a piece of designer series paper. This is from the uh, Fancy Flora, and it's a six by six paper. You're gonna cut it to three by five and a half. The little vellum, you're gonna cut to a two and a quarter by two and seven eighths. And the card, I guess I should be showing you the card. This is the card we're gonna make. I did make this one with the little loose flowers the Loose Daisy uh, embellishment flowers. We're not gonna be doing that today, but that's an option. And then this one, I die cut the little bumblebees and we're not gonna be doing the die cut bumblebees. We're gonna just stamp. And so let me show you how I created this card. So the first thing we're gonna do is of course, crease our card base. And that just helps it lay flat. And then we're going to take our our first we're going to use the smaller piece of the very vanilla and the evening evergreen when we're stamping and the inks that we're going to use for this card we're going to be using daffodil delight old olive smoky slate soft succulent and momento black so the first thing we're going to do is Actually, the first thing we're gonna do, we're not gonna start our stamping yet. The first thing we're gonna do is take our little pieces and start assembling. So this one, you're not doing anything to. We're putting that aside for a minute. On this one, we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna just trim around this lantern. I'm gonna cut this off and cut this piece off. And this idea came from page 18 in the catalog where they had their lantern like this and I actually liked that look. So I am casing the lantern from page 18 and just cutting that off. And now this could be used for something later, so stick it aside. And now that we've done our cutting, let me grab a little sheet of paper in here so maybe you could see better. We're going to take our lantern and I'm going to just add dots of glue just to this edge. And you don't need a lot of glue. You just need little tiny dots. This is a new glue bottle, so it's coming out in more than little dots. It's coming out massive, but it'll still work. So we're gonna glue this on to this copper piece. Just like that, you're gluing onto the copper rather than the piece of paper because it keeps the glue off of your hands and it's just easier to lay the paper on than to actually lay a paper down with glue on it. So as we go along, you'll see that seems to be how I, how I roll. Okay, so then we're gonna put this little piece on and now our little lantern is decorated. So we'll put that aside and let that dry because the copper tends to slide. Okay, now we're going to assemble our little bumblebee. Let me put these pieces here so it's out of my way. All right, so we're gonna assemble this little bumblebee. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of glue to the head of this bumblebee. Just one little tiny dot. And then I'm gonna add the vellum wing to that, just like that. And I'm not worried about that glob of glue shining through there because 
not shining through, showing through. Big difference between shining and showing. Okay, then we're going to do this body. I don't know why Stampin' Up! didn't have this just die cut as one big piece, but not sure why they did it this way, but oh well. So this time we're going to add a little glue to this body and onto the vellum. And then this piece just sits like this. Okay, now we're going to take this one and we're going to die cut the head off. And so I'm just coming around to this other wing like that. And we're going to cut these legs off. I know, so cruel. But I don't want yellow legs on my bumblebee. I want black legs. So you're just cutting off those three pieces. Move those out of the way into my garbage can. All right. And then we're going to glue that onto this part. So you're not putting glue all the way to the bottom of this. Man, this is a brand new bottle and it is massively <laughs> oozing glue. All right, we'll just put that on there. And then this is gonna go, I forgot the little wings. Gotta put a drop of glue and a drop of glue. And then that is gonna sit right on here just like that. And we will let that be set aside. And flip those little wings up. So wait one second, I'm just getting this glued down a little more secure. So there's our little bumblebee. And now get this out of the way. And now we're going to do some stamping. And I'm going to bring in my little mat, put this down, and I'm going to put a little tiny piece of paper under here because I don't want to stamp off onto my, let's go this way. This is the one I had glue on, so you know what? I don't need this for right now. Let's, okay, so we're gonna take our soft succulent. No, we're not, we're taking our old doll, I'm sorry, okay. I got it now. Got to get my brain working. All right, we're going to take our old olive. We're going to ink this leaf on the card. And I'm having some overhang off the bottom because I'm going to be stamping some things on the top. So I didn't want the whole entire stem on here. So there's that. And then we're going to take our little pieces that we die cut. And so one of the pieces that I did ahead of time, I stamped the leaf and then die cut it. It's gonna go on our card. Our little lantern's gonna go on our card. So we're just kind of doing placement right now on where things are gonna go. And the reason is because we need to see where we're gonna stamp our swarm of bees or fireflies or whatever they are. I think they're fireflies, that's what we'll call them. So we're gonna stamp that little swarm And it's gonna go just like that. So I just pulled that down just a tiny bit. And there's our little swarm. And now we can assemble our little pieces on the card. So I'm going to take this lantern. We're gonna glue the lantern down. No, we're not. Moving this aside, I have one more thing I have to do. We're gonna take our piece of vellum and I'm going to take the dot, the bigger dot, and I'm gonna take the very vanilla, or the Daffodil Delight. My goodness, sorry guys, not with it today. Okay, then we're gonna take our sponge dauber and I'm just gonna, because vellum stays wet, we're gonna take the sponge dauber and kind of just smear this so it looks like a glow of light on the vellum. And then I'm going to come in and stamp it again with that dot without re-inking. There we go. So that's where our lantern is going to go. And we're going to bring the lantern on top of this. So this is going to sit. There's our little light. So I'm going to glue just the middle of the lantern. So just here. 
Oh my goodness. These fresh bottles, they just pour out. Okay, we're just going around this perimeter and a little bit right there, and that's it. I have to wipe some of this glue off again because we have too much. And then we're gonna lay this on top of the vellum so it kind of, that looks like it's coming right off the base. That vellum is coming, the light is coming off of the middle of the lantern. I'll get it right. I'll get it right. Give me a minute. Okay. Now we are going to take our scissors and trim the excess of this vellum off. And there's nothing real tricky about this. We're just coming up the edge, coming across. It doesn't matter how it looks on the back side, so it doesn't have to be straight because you're not gonna see it. You don't wanna come in too far or else your little, what's supposed to look like glass on the lantern is not gonna work because then you'll have a hole over here. So you gotta be somewhat careful cutting this, but it just doesn't have to look pretty on the back side is what I was trying to say. Now, because I've got so much glue on this paper, we are getting rid of this completely, so I don't use it again. All right, now we're going to assemble. See what I meant? There's, It's not pretty on the back. I see where I missed a piece. So I'll cut that off. Right there. Okay, and now we're gonna glue this on the card. And I want this, to go under this, so you're not gluing this down yet. We're just gonna glue the lantern. Now you can glue on the top. You wanna stay off of the vellum because it will show through if you get the glue on the window part of the vellum. And right there. And the, by the window part, I mean you want this, this is my glass piece, it's what I'm calling the window part. We don't want glue coming off of there because it will look funny. So I've lined this up where I want it. And then I'm going to place this piece so it kind of overhangs over there. I'm only gluing the bottom portion of this because I want the leaf to still kind of pop up a little bit. So I need a piece of paper in here. Let me grab this. I'll just stick this in here. I just don't want the glue sticking on my calendar here. So I'm going to put this over here like that and then I'm going to just trim the excess off of the bottom of this right there. Okay, let me grab my card base. So we're going to put this on the card base. Let me glue that down. All right, line this up. All right, then we're going to stamp our sentiment and then that way I will know where I'm gonna put my little bumblebees on here. Okay, the sentiment for this one is be who you were born to be. And I have to check what stamp set. Well, I will put that on the description below. I don't remember what stamp set this came from. I do know it's an old retired one though. Doesn't matter because you can use anything you have on hand. So I just happen to like how this fit in this corner. So we're gonna put that right there. Okay, then I'm going to take Smoky Slate and I'm going to take my scrap paper again. I'm grab a new piece of scrap paper and we are going to stamp this little firefly, or not a firefly, we're not doing the firefly. I did a firefly before 
what I thought was a firefly. I think it's a bumblebee. So we're gonna stamp the bumblebee. I'm gonna stamp it off twice because I want this to just be kind of a light look. And then we're gonna stamp again without re-inking right there. Okay, then I'm gonna take my markers in Daffodil Delight and I did a Smoky Slate and Pineapple Punch. And I'm going to color in the bottom of these little bumblebees. And over here. Okay, then I'm going to take the light daffodil, or the pineapple punch rather, and I'm gonna do the wings, just because it looks cute having those yellow, I'm doing the fine point. This is actually a tiny spot, so coloring right there. Okay, and then this one. I'm not one of those colorers where you just color with everything laid flat. I just turn things around. That's why I don't do coloring on my videos for people because I probably drive people nuts. Okay, then I'm gonna take a little bit of the smoky slate and just do a little bit of the head and then just finish a little bit of the body so that you see this little bumblebee. And then do the same thing on this one. And then once again, just fill in the little body. Okay, there's that. Then to give this extra, I'm gonna put a little more color here. I can see this one didn't color well. Okay, then I'm going to take some Wink Estella. This is what makes the card super cute. And you have to have the right lighting to see this, but I'm taking the Wink Estella I'm going to put a tiny bit on the wings, just drawing a couple little lines. And then this is the part that is so amazing with the Wink of Stella. Just come in and take some of these little dots and just randomly throw Wink of Stella on some of them, more than not. You want more spots with Wink of Stella than without, but you don't want every one of them either. So just dotting. And then in certain lighting, oh my gosh, this looks so amazing. So just like that. Okay, super quick. And now we are going to take this and put it on our card base. Let me glue that down. Okay, going to put, oh, we're not gluing that down. I'm putting this on my designer series paper first. That could have been not good. Okay, I'm gonna glue this. Then we're gluing it down. We're gluing that right to the edge. Okay, now we're gonna glue this onto the card base. That could have been bad. Okay, just like that. That's the front of the card. I think it's so cute. Okay, now we're going to add our bumblebee right here. And you can pop it up or you can glue it. I'm gonna just stick with the whole glue thing. And put that right there. Isn't that cute? I just love it. I think it's cute. Okay, now for the inside, we're gonna put this aside and let everything dry. Now we're going to do the inside of the card. What I did on the inside is I die cut the bumblebee. I know, crazy, right? And then I'm going to glue this onto the green, the evening evergreen. When you're gluing the inside paper, you wanna just glue the edge because when you write on the paper, you don't wanna have glue bumps that you're writing on. So we're gonna just put this on the edge, just like that. 
And then we're gonna take our little bumblebee. Now this one I die cut in the same color and I didn't like it. So you're gonna take this bumblebee and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna color the little bumblebee with your marker. This color is super fast. Then I'm doing the lighter color for the wings just because I like the look. So we're gonna color these wings. And then this one and this one. You want to make sure your black, momental black, is completely dry before you do that, or it will smear. And then I took Wink of Stella on, to, on this. So I decided I liked it better with the white bumblebee instead of the very vanilla. It just helped it pop more. So I'm going to remove this paper, and we're going to put the Wink of Stella on the bumblebee. And there's little lines on this wing, and I'm just drawing the Wink of Stella on these little lines. And once again, certain lighting, this really looks amazing. And I think I'm gonna put a little down here on this part of the bumblebee too, just because. So when you're gluing this down, you're gonna fold the wings up and you're just gluing the body and that's it. So the reason I did this is it kind of looked like, to me, a shadow underneath here. This is gonna just sit in there like that. And the wings are gonna pop up. And then we're going to stamp our sentiment. And it is going to say, you are all kinds of wonderful. And it is from the stamp set. And I am going to take my mat this time because I want to have something I can line the sentiment up with. So I'm going to ink that and put that right there. Okay, and then you can also add a couple of the bumblebees to the inside or you can leave it plain. I am going to add the bumblebees because I think they're cute. So I'm going to ink these up again the same way we did the other ones in the smoky slate. And I'm gonna come in, let me move all my stuff out of the way here. I'm gonna come in and stamp this off. And I'm gonna stamp it off again because I don't want it super dark. Put one there and I'm gonna put one here. And when you press too hard, you're gonna get this line. So don't press hard. I do have a mono eraser, and so you can erase this. You're not really erasing, you're just peeling the paper away, so you won't see that. So let me just do this a tiny bit more here. And then you would color these little bees. Same thing, you're gonna take your little yellow I'm gonna have one be darker and one lighter. So one's gonna have dark wings and a light body, and one's gonna have a dark body and light wings. Okay, now we'll get the other color and do the opposite. Color the, this little body light, and these wings will be light. Just think these are so cute. And then we will come in with our smoky slate and just make his little head and draw his little body a little bit darker. Just like that. Okay. Isn't that cute? Love it. Okay, then we're going to glue this to the inside of our card. And that is 
all there is to making this. It is a fun card. I hope you will give it a thumbs up. Go and make this card casing it if you would like. You can create your own. I think this stamp set could be used for camping card for a guy. It could be um, all kinds of different things. The sentiment on the inside of this, the thanks for lighting the way, follow your dreams. That could be a good one for graduation. So anyway, that's the three different styles that I made. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Go make something uniquely yours. Bye for now.